I get tickled a pear, bro. I'm tickling the pear. Oh! It opened up a secret room! Revelio. No way. Oh my god, Hogwarts kitchens, bro. Look at this. These are the these they got these dudes working for Dude, they probably Yeah, they're slaving away out here. This is crazy. Nothing but oh my god, they got chickens in cages, bro. Yeah, I guess. I mean all their food though. Here's a welcome treat. This is Deke. No Deke. Yeah, Dobby and Deke, right? This is crazy. I didn't even know this was here, bro. This is so cool. I'm telling you right now, they got some good fucking food. What the hell? Shit, sorry. They have so much stuff in here. It's not even funny. Whatever. Whatever, bro. Why am I pissed? I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Why am I pissed? I'm trying to figure that. I've been trying to figure that out for fucking weeks, bro. Dude, come on, man. You can't tell me this isn't a vibe. Walk to Hogsmeade with this music on. It's full. Halloween's around the corner. You got a nice fire pit. Oh my god. Fuck me. Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. It's crazy. Though be advised, none of the dodo should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous. Especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems huh? many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please... That's crazy, because we're talking about Mr. Beast right now, and I'm at Beast today. class. Yes, Professor Howen. It's crazy. Hello, I'm Poppy. Poppy Sweeting. Hi, I'm Poppy. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. I'm Poppy. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly shaped. Kind of cute. Oh! Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here, you can practice on Gerald. What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. Pudding. I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. Oh my God, Gerald. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select let's another go. beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? All right. This way, the measles are over here. Let's go say hi to the fucking measles. Oh, couple of measles whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jeeks. <laughs> Yo. Stupid thing. <sighs> what in Merlin's name are you doing? Tuss, tuss, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is Persephone. <laughs> Her name is Persephone. <laughs> That's really not funny. <sighs> Let's go. Fuck off. It's all right, Persephone. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. No, they don't. Punches and training. Persephone was on to them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. Please Chill. I'm I didn't feed the fucking measles up. yet. Now, Stop. Where is our new student? Stop. I'm ah, trying to feed them. There you are. I would like a moment, please. Should I hop in the pen? Oh, fuck. I'm in here with the measles, bro. What's going on, buddy? Good boy, good boy. Good girl. Good girl. There we go. Brush them up. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Interesting. Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. 
How did you find your first beast lesson? That's fucking amazing. I enjoyed it. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good. You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Yes, they can. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly. You think? Which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Yeah, that's fucked up. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. He tried yes, to yank the whiskers off of the cat. They're nearly as bad as the savages in Rookwood's poacher pack. Sadly, yeah, this is we're fucked the up, ones bro. who suffer. Why am I pissed? Stumbling over dead beasts. Terrible waste of resources. Yeah, Surely waste of the poachers resources. can be brought to justice by someone. The no, ministry, me. I'm perhaps? gonna put them to justice. Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now, no, we can control why the don't go we kill focus him. on more immediate matters that yeah. we can control? I can kill him. I can kill him. Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to so the other There's so much shit to do in this years. game, bro. This is crazy. Be on the lookout for my owl. So Meanwhile, much shit to do. You can, you can breed the animals. I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. <laughs> I don't think I can breed with the animals. I think I could breed the animals together. <laughs> hey, over here. Come on. <laughs> Yeah, what are you whispering for? What do you want to do? You want to sneak off? Let's go. Do you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying yeah, something man, to Yeah, man, I got you. Don't worry about it, Poppy. You were an ordinary oh, at noon in the desert. I oh, certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least, that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're yeah. of a similar mind. Oh my god, Poppy. Actually, in and she's a Hufflepuff. There's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. She's luring me to the forest. I guess it sounds intriguing. You've intrigued me. Yeah, I mean, who's, who's well. your friend? Lead the way. Is this a I trap? I would. Ah, dude, is this a trap? Where are we going, Poppy? Why are we going to the forest I alone? Take just anyone there. In fact, she said she wouldn't just first. take anyone there. I'm the first one really? she's taken there. Well, thank you. Hold on. I think. <laughs> As I said, <laughs> think alike. Pleasant surprise. <laughs> this is crazy. Let's go, Poppy. <sighs> Quite the weather we're having. <laughs> what do you think? Poppy, where are you taking? It really is much better if I just show you. Stand back. Oh my god, is it a hippogriff? Oh! It's fucking majestic. Oh my god, it's so majestic. Please meet High Ring. Isn't she just magnificent? Go on, introduce yourself to her. But Hi, High Ring. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy yeah. before you approach them. Yeah. Got a bow. All right. Bow. There we go. <laughs> I had to bow so they would bow back. Uh. I don't think I've ever seen a hippogriff take to someone this quickly. Oh my God, I could pet him. You can feed and brush her if you'd like. Of course I will. I I'm come gonna take and the check on her every once in a while. Bring her Show her some love. Tell her Show her some love and. You wouldn't Give know from looking at her, but she's a dreadful busybody. Yes, it is. All right. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know. So, what did you think of High Wing? I fucking loved her. She was brilliant. I thought she was brilliant. I did. I can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two yeah. might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll, they'll always, always be, be there, there for you. you? Wow. I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did wow. you and Highwing cross paths? It's a longer story, but I rescued mm. her from poachers a few years back. Got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. 
You may have noticed that poachers are something of a Yeah, they are a problem. The poachers are so fucking retarded, bro. Get her again. They piss me off. And I might not be there next time. I'll be Professor there for her, don't worry about it. Poachers as well. She seems to imply that we couldn't rely oh, on I'll put the, I'll take it into my own hands. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poachers' influence is growing. I see them every no. day in the village, lingering, talking to people. No. They're up to something. I'm just not Let's figure sure this out. Let's Scooby do this shit. This sounds suspicious. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Yeah, Find you look into it and then get back to me. What they're doing. Yeah. Would be good to investigate. I think that's a fine idea. It's a great idea. Information actually, is Bobby. power. And the more I know, the better I can keep hiring safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. Very well. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. I will talk to you again. I don't know what to do now. So I went to beast class. That was the class that I kind of wanted to do, but not really. I need to learn how to lockpick, though. That's the thing. That's what I need to fucking learn how to do. Oh, so this might be the lockpick, yeah. I think I need to, I'm gonna do this. This might be the lockpicking class. Gladwin Moon. Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin teach me how to lockpick. Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. Please teach me how to lockpick. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. Oh, he was the I sick guy I'm outside of. Rather yeah, I remember this guy. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I Trolls. certainly wasn't expecting a troll Trolls. attack. Oh, of course not. Uh, and from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. Yeah, man. In fact, I destroyed them. My recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue That's over well. there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. What the fuck kind of time lapse is this? They put me through a time lapse. Whoa. Whoa, what does that mean? Now, if you wouldn't mind humoring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Collect. Odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed, which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues began appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around. So what are we Oxford. doing? Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart. A what? Or shapeshifter. Uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. <laughs> That's fucking scary, bro. Took the form of that is scary. Revelio, Revelio. Revelio. Terrifying creature that can see the future. Holy unnerving. What are you showing me, I encountered me, brother? one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demigodesses. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired place. Some jackanapes used a boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as Ooh, to the Please teach me how to lock Please, 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 please. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Please. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, please, please, your please, please. daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at mm. my wit's end, young friend. I, I simply can't bring myself to go near them. <laughs> In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them, so uh, I can go about my evening duties. 
I'd be happy to I'd help. I'd be glad to help you, Mr. Moon. Oh, I knew I could count on you. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Hmm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice <sighs> that the door is locked. However, will you oh get my in? God. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh. I sent you a bit like me when I was your age. Uh. All the school was my oyster. And I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, mm. Now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you. Oh my god, yes. X squared triangle circle X. X square. X. Bingo. Please tell me this is lockpicking. Aloha Mora. Uh, what the fuck? That's it. Bingo. Oh my god, that's actually sick. Oh. Well done. Let's You're go. In. Remember, use a disillusionment charm. Sorry. This must be the prefect's hmm. bathroom. No. Plenty of other perils and pitfalls to send them my way, though. I suppose Professor Black knows best, but the students are terribly disappointed about Quidditch being cancelled. Huh. I had planned to better you down. Hello, Mr. Moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. There we go, chat. Oh, goodness! You're as fearless as I'd hoped! An excellent start. If we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, Peeves. rancorous cop, to early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the bogger in Oxford, fucking with does me. It? No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. Yeah, I'll be glad to help. It's definitely intriguing. I'd like to help you solve this mystery. Yes, sir. You, my friend, are a gentle person and a, a scholar. And I have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. Please. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. All right. How many statues, How many are, there? statues are there to find? I don't know precisely. A dozen, dozens. Seems they're everywhere I look. You have your work cut out for you. If oh you were God. to ever unravel You gotta them. be fucking me, bro. What will I get for? Fuck, I'll keep Understood. looking. I'll keep I looking, keep professor. I appreciate that. I'll keep looking, professor. 